Hey, how are you guys doing? Um, been a while since I made a video, uh, so I figured I'd make one today. I hadn't made a video in a while because I've been on a little bit of a downswing, so I wanted to refocus on my trading and also because uh, just busy with other life shit. So uh, today I had a pretty good day. I had uh, two solid uh, trades. One was much better than the other one. Uh, I'll go through both of them right now. So I'll show you the, the really good one, which was Cron. A lot of people caught Cron today. It was a uh, gap down on uh, bad earnings news and people were really eyeing it to go short and uh, it didn't disappoint. It followed through uh, quite nicely. I didn't trade it perfectly. I'm really mad at myself with some uh, early covers, but uh, we'll just jump into it right now. So uh, like I mentioned before, Cron was uh, an earnings play today and uh, had very bad guidance and uh, apparently the earnings call was very lackluster. Um, so it did uh, what a lot of times these uh, gap down stocks will do first thing in the morning. Let me, sorry, let me just zoom in here so we get a better view and it's more clear. So it did what a lot of gap down stocks do, which is uh, in the morning, uh, there were shorts covering and just uh, by the dippers coming in. So right out the open, it pushed up higher, right? Which, you know, can mislead more novice traders. But once you get experience, you realize that's just shorts covering and by the dippers just trying to you know catch a little spike in the morning and that uh, oftentimes it's just going to roll back over so um it did in fact so it came up here it peaked you see this top wick here that's a strong signal that it was in fact going to go back down and uh, i took a short uh, above vwap looking for the break of vwap all right because uh, i want to anticipate a little bit because i had uh, some pretty good confidence that this trade was uh, in fact going to work out to the downside so um that's it that's what i did went uh uh, went short above EWAP and uh, this is where I kind of kicked myself a little bit. I, I took some covers like way too damn early. I think I was just a little anxious because I went a little heavy, uh, a little larger size uh, than I usually do uh, on this trade. So that just got my nerves going. Makes me a little anxious, right? You just, you always, your mind goes to the worst place and you just imagine it's just going to bounce up and go against me. So uh, you see, you know, you're eager to get out. So uh, I went short here above you up, like I said, and um, took some covers way too early. These were way too early covers. I kicked myself for them. Um, I wasn't, it wasn't like half my position or anything like that, but it was just still some partials that uh, were unnecessary, right? You make money for sure, but uh, it's really more of like lowering my risk kind of covers, but uh, it's my own damn fault. I have a bad habit of doing that. Um, and then I just started taking covers into these support resistance lines. So these were legit covers here. Like this one here was a legit cover. This one was a legit cover. Those covers, no problem. Those are some support resistance lines I had drawn out. And I just covered into those ones. And same thing with uh, these covers down here. These were just uh, big supports from uh, other daily uh, resistance lines. I didn't have them drawn out. This one was just a previous day close. Not previous day close, I'm sorry. Uh, a previous level. And I just was patient and waited. Right? You can see here on the five minute chart, it's easier to look at. But I uh, I was really determined and had pretty strong confidence that this was going to go lower. So I was determined to hold even through these bounces. Right, I just held and held and held and just watched the price action. Right, And eventually it took some next legs lower and that was it. And then uh, by this point, I had a fraction of my position towards the very end. Um, and so I just had a stop set up here around uh, 1820, a little above it, and uh, eventually it did grind back up and hit me. Um, I won't be surprised tomorrow if this uh, continues lower, so I'll keep this on my watch list for tomorrow. But again, Cron, you see here on the five and the one minute, beautiful trade. This is my big winner on the day. Uh, I just wish I didn't um, mess up and take these uh, early covers uh, at the very beginning because those were just nothing. I made money, but uh, it was a, it was a pretty much a waste. Um, so next one I, I traded today was CNC. Now this was not perfect trading by any means. I, I screwed the pooch on this one a little bit too, um, but really it's my nerves got just got me. Um, so we'll walk through it here really quickly just so we can see. Um, CNC was another uh, gap down stock on earnings or news. I don't recall which one exactly it was. Um, so it did what Cron did, right? So first thing in the morning, it pushed back up. So it opened and it pushed higher, right? So like like uh, Cron, when I saw this first red candle and these topping wicks, I was like, okay, this is where it flushes and goes back down. So it went short, right? Went short right there. And uh, I didn't like the price action. It looked like it was pushing back up against me, so I covered. Um, and I'm glad I did because it uh, decided to take another leg higher, right? So this trade didn't work out, but uh, I don't hate it, right? Because this uh, this trade oftentimes will work out. So uh, didn't work out this time. Went short, covered, pushed back higher, more topping tails, right? And then uh, this is a pattern. Uh, I, I don't really have a name for it. I just kind of today I thought of it as like a as a like a top shelf, like an upper shelf sort of a short. 
So uh, it pushed higher off the gap down and then it pulled back, right? And then it just sort of grinded sideways and made this little little wedging pattern here. And I saw it. I saw the trade. I decided to go short here. But my nerves, for whatever reason, psyched me out of the trade. I, I psyched myself out of the trade. The price actually did not tell me to get out. I just psyched myself out, right? This initial uh, rejection of my uh, idea, this initial a leg higher, you know, gave me a little less confidence in the trade. I had fear that I was going to do it again and go back up against me. And so I covered here with no reason to, right? I had a great entry and I covered with no reason to. So um, I, I pissed myself off with that one. So same thing down here. This stock had, this stock had me all psyched out. So uh, again, went short for a break of VWAP, but it didn't want to flush right away, right? It kind of held VWAP a little bit and gave me some choppiness, right? And so I stopped myself out. I psyched myself out right here and I got stopped out. And immediately I was cursing at myself and I was pissed off and I was like, screw it. I'm going to get back in. So I got back in here pretty much right after covering. So this is emotional trading. This is kind of trading you want to avoid, but um, you know, it happens to the best of us and uh, it's just something you've got to learn from. So this right here was emotional BS, but um, so I went back short and I was determined to stick with it. I had a legit stop set up here and uh, I just patiently waited. And thankfully the stock uh, did break and trend lower, but it wasn't like the greatest flush right so it just kind of grind grinded down and i took some covers down here because of the price action um it was just holding a little too much for my liking uh i moved my stop above the app so i now had my stop up here and uh, i just continued to watch it oops so i just continued to watch it and then uh i did another leg lower down here and i took another cover again not because because i just wasn't like the price action then i had a stop set uh up here like just in the middle of all this mess i just decided to put a stop here because so i was like if it's going to go up to the middle of that mess it's going to go back up higher so um as you can see there on the five minute that's exactly what i did it just chopped and grinded sideways i took some other covers down here a little bit lower on these next legs lower so thankfully I did make another leg lower when i covered there um but it just was grinding right i didn't really want to flush and so i had my stop set up here and all that and all that mess like i said and eventually did pull back and uh, stop me out and then the rest of the day it did uh grind higher it looks like so yeah uh happy with the the la the final trade i'm happy with everything except this stupid cover up here right and the and the other trade down here so this one i'm happy with that first fail trade happy with this one don't like because i suck myself out there's the the other one down here which i didn't like because i suck myself out and then the rest so i guess i was two for four as far as my 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 happiness with this uh trade so i made money on it um not as much as i should have so those are my trades for today you guys um sorry for being on for such a long time hopefully you guys got some information out of this you liked if you like the videos please like subscribe give me some feedback and uh good luck trading tomorrow see ya